Hello and welcome to another update video about FET Fetch AI. So we are still probably in this wave two correction here that we've been talking about for a while now. It can certainly go a little lower um, and I would assume it will go lower until we see a, a potential reversal. At the moment, price action to the upside is corrective, so it would suggest another low. We're going to take a look at the count now. So we have a five wave move to the upside, which peaked here in February. Yeah. Um, that's a level that we talked about before, you know, wave one impulse, all good, uh, not entirely reliable, but it's okay. And then we're currently in this wave two. The wave two looks definitely corrective. So we have a lot of overlapping price action, a lot of corrections. Um, there are certainly a few possible interpretations for this current correction, how this can be labeled. Um, eventually they all point to similar targets. Yeah, I can, can make a case here for a WXY structure where we had a wave W as an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave down. Um, then we had here an X wave in an A, B, C correction. Um, here, yeah, and I want to mention that also from an educational point of view, the A wave looks impulsive. Okay, the B wave certainly corrective, and the C wave again impulsive. So it can count as an ABC. The C wave ends below the A wave high, that is uncommon, but not invalid. A target for a C wave, a common target for a C wave, it's not that common, but it is still a valid target for a C wave, is the 61.8 extension of the A wave. We reached that perfectly. From that point of view, this is my preferred count. Um, and we're now following down in a Y wave. The Y wave itself reads best as an ABC structure. Um, here though, I'd like to make a small change. And this B wave is probably rather a triangle. So um, where we came down in an, oops, one second, in an A wave, yeah, then A, B, C, D, E in wave B, okay. And we're now heading down in the C wave, but that's really just a minor adjustment that doesn't really impact targets. Um, now it's all about right when is this c wave over and it can be over to be honest at any time so with the latest adjustment of that b wave high we can look at possible targets fibonacci targets for that c wave to the downside because what we can do we take the length of the a wave go to that low here around 32 cents just below that go to the b wave high and then we're looking at a possible target for the c wave you can see that we reached already the 78.6 extension that is a, a level to watch, but it's not that much of a, of a common target. A more common target would be the 100% extension, the one to one ratio. Okay, so that one to one ratio is nearly reached. That is at 21.4 cents, 21.5. And if we get one more low, we could hit that corrective price channel here and then take off. That's at least one possible scenario. But again, until we see that impulsive reversal to the upside, we can't really say. Um, Certainly a level to watch though, that 21.4, 21.5 cent level. And be aware that we are still in the corrective price channel. We haven't reversed impulsively to the upside. So the expectation has to be at the moment another low. Um, yeah, another level to watch is, so what we can also do, we can take the length of the wave W, we go to the high of the X wave, and then we're looking for, so, the 78.6 extension that's at 19.7 cents. That's not that common. Yeah, the 61.8 level was already broken. And the one below that is at um, yeah, the one below that is the one to one ratio at 12.8 cents. I would not really want to see price go down to that level anyway, because then we are breaking the 78.6 retracement at 17.6 cents. And any further upside will become less likely eventually this entire pattern will become much less reliable. Okay, so yeah, ideally we stay in the corrective price channel. And as soon as we see an impulsive reversal, basically a five wave move up with a subsequent three wave move down, we can look at, um, yeah, you know, that we are in the third wave. Bear in mind, this can happen very, very quickly. This can happen very quickly. And a break above the B wave high at around 34 cents, 34 and a half cents would then give, um, 
good confirmation that we are in the third wave. And then we need to take out the X wave high at 44.7 cents. What about targets to the upside? I'm careful about giving targets at this stage because we haven't got any um, reversal to the upside yet. But just to give you an idea, if this works out, then a third wave target measured against the latest low would be $1.12 roughly, okay? Um, that's how it could pump. But I'm careful about that because just you know, don't take this for granted. First of all, price needs to turn around before breaking the 17 and a half cent level. Um, right, what else to highlight here? I mean, let's take a look at the indicators for our chart. No, let's start on the daily. So here we see a, redu a reduction in negative momentum. Yeah, that indicates that either the low is already in or we're very close to the low on the daily. If we really get a bullish um, a bullish crossover, that could be a catalyst for in increases, but price needs to confirm that. Uh, we are now oversold, or we were oversold, on the daily time frame on the RSI. There's also a possible bottom signal. Not that we have bottomed already, but that we are very, very close. So it's certainly worth watching price action at this stage. Um, by the way, if I go back to the daily chart, this is the first time we've been oversold since here, November, right? And we all know what happened afterwards. Now, um, again, just be careful because this is still a chart with questionable chart history and everything, but it's okay. Um, it's currently in this sort of downs, downtrending channel. And as long as we're holding that support, I mean, we're in support, we're in Fibonacci support. We are holding the trend line and we are oversold on the daily time frame. I'm, all of these are signals that a turnaround could be happening. It's just that the price hasn't, that was the dog in the background, price hasn't followed through yet. All right, that's my update about um, FET. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.